Hey guys, welcome back to my final case review for 2014. I told you I would bring one a day up from the 22nd, 23rd, 24th up to Christmas because I'm going to be busy. So, here it is. This is the iBlazing case for the Moto X 2014. So I've already reviewed the outer box, which I have been using. It's fantastic. I reviewed another TCU case around here somewhere. But this case is for the Moto X 2014. And as you can see here, it has the iBlazing logo on the bottom there. Microphone cut out. Charging sync cable cut out. Microphone cut out there. Camera and dimple cut out. Headphone jack up top. Power button, vine rocker are covered. And nothing on that side. So it's very simple. Let's just pop it in. We'll go bottom first. This is a thin TPU style case. And it actually looks pretty good. I actually like this. I like it. It's black. Goes well with the blue just like the uh, outer box. Except this is obviously a lot thinner. So uh, I'm, I'm going to have... I can put this in my pocket a lot easier. Now it's matte on the back and it's got like a shiny um, TPU style grip around the edges. It's kind of grippy and it's uh, a shiny color. Not my first choice. I would have had it all matte around there. Actually on the website, on Amazon it actually looks like it's matte but maybe I just didn't look at it. But let's check the buttons. Buttons work very well. Volume rocker. Works good. So the iBlazing, uh, I paid nine dollars for this on Amazon, obviously. So uh, it's a very thin TPU case compared to the other TPU case that I first reviewed. Let me grab it real quick. Compared to this TPU case, it kind of it kind of feels um, thinner for some reason. Believe it or not, it feels thinner. Excuse me, guys. And here is the outer box. Obviously, you can see this is the biggest of them all because that's for total protection. The Defender series, but um, this case feels, uh, and they're they're pretty much the same. I mean, they're built almost the same. This one has a bigger lip. Uh, they're both matte on the back, but this black. I guess the black just looks a little bit more sleek. I guess I want to say. I went with the smoke on here because I, I wanted to see how it would look with the with the blue. But um, the dimple's not cut out as well. So I guess with the dimple being cut out on the eye blazing, it's actually a pretty sleek uh, device. It just, or, or case, it just feels thinner than this particular case. Um, but nonetheless, this is the eye blazing case for the Moto X 2014. I like how you can see the blue speaker grills. I like how that looks on this one too. Uh, with the black. Microphone cutouts are lined up perfectly. And it looks like uh, everything is going to work out well with this one. This might be a daily case for me. Since it's black. And you can pretty much match the black with, with anything. New logos. Got my new logos finally. Uh, but yeah, anyway, you can match this black pretty much. You can match black or brown or white with pretty much anything. But um, I like this iBlazing case. Really nice. Very comfortable. And I think out of my series of series of cases, um, this one is uh, probably the one I like the best out of these three. I kind of like this one the best. So there you have it, guys. My final case review uh, for, for 2014 as of right now. I mean, I have tons of stuff shipping in, but um, I probably won't do a review on them until next year. I'm going to enjoy the holidays. I think you should, too. There's always time to watch YouTube. We can make time for it. So uh, enjoy your Moto X 2014. I am enjoying mine. Um, and this is the eye blazing case for the Moto X 2014. Take care, guys, and I will see you in the next one.